Going on lace. Thank you very much for the gifted memberships. Uh, Hello. Good morning. Uh, uh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you for all the super chats. I wish I could respond. You know, I'm going to do... I'm going to... I'll do a stream where it's dedicated just to thanking everybody that, that sends... Sent stuff. Um, for the birthday streams. I'll do that. I just got a lot on my plate and I wanted to look at art today. But yeah, thank you everybody. Good morning. It's, it's my actual <laughs> birthday. It was my actual birthday yesterday, but... It's my actual birthday, like... Where, where I'm connecting from. Yeah. Hello, hello. Good morning. It's the resident birthday boy, Vesper Noir. Who occupies the position of scholar of in the Adventures Guild Tempest and, a, and is also a member of All the Stars English. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Oh, shit. The reverb is on. Oh, my fucking God. Uh, uh, filters. Uh, disabled. Okay. Okay. Better? Oh, my God. Don't tell them about the reverb. Dagger through my heart. Dagger through my heart, Vesti. How could you how could you want me to leave the reverb on the entire stream? I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to enjoy every single little like piece of uh art and and congratulations and stuff like that. Oh my fucking go away. Okay. Okay. Sorry, not not you, not you, not you, not you. It's just paper and, and stuff on my desktop. I like a clean desktop and there's like garbage on it. Like I I gotta clean. I'm gonna clean today. I'm gonna clean today. Hope you enjoy the PowerPoint. Yeah, there's a PowerPoint. There's two PDF files. There's a video. Can I show the video? I don't, I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Can you, can you see my Okay, good. I don't think you can see my mouse. Okay. 
Vesper's birthday bookshelf. Celebrating Vesper Noir. Best day ever, 2023. I like it. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. How did it get messy? Well, I got lazy after I got. Don't show the video. Don't leave video save. Okay, cool. I'll show the video on stream as well then. Okay. But it should be fine. I. I, I can't be like if I if I ask for permission, nobody's awake right now. Just, I'll I'll trust I trust you guys. If it's got like music on it, like I'm sc I'm screwed. But I trust you guys. Anyways, let's get in there. Table of contents. Introduction to the PowerPoint. Stream milestones. Hot sauce challenge. That was a good one. Amazon account takeover. That's a good one. Faster than light. Zomboid. I should play I should play FTL. Oh, it's too hot. Guild card? Vesti pole? What's a Vesti pole? What is that? Teacup catalog, scrapbook, guestbook. Yep. Yep. I read the ones that were like, do it on off stream, and then the four that I was told like are safe. I'm gonna do them on this stream. Wonderful transitions. Yeah. It's nice. What the hell is even this? I do say that. I say it with like an inflection in my voice too, right? I go, what the hell is even this? Vestis have gathered to create a very special birthday project for the one and only our boomer grandpire. Vesper Noir, resident scholar of the Adventures Guild Tempest and a member of Hollow Stars English. Inside you will find a compilation of stream highlights. Delectable data? Delectable. In honor of our scholars, some revelry from the Vestis and a summary of Vesti projects. All to celebrate Vesper's special day, aka a love letter from the Vesti story. They love me. <laughs> what if I turn it around? What if I rotate it around on you guys? Huh? Huh? What if I rotate it around on you guys and it'd be like, they hate me? Am I that wouldn't feel that good, huh? That wouldn't feel that good. But they love me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute, actually. Hold on, let me go back. This art is so cute. Look, it's so cute. I let the hair tied up. It's nice. Ah, delicious. Okay, let's jump in. Whispers 2022 stream milestones. Debut, July 23rd. Yep. First thoughts that I'm... July 24th, I remember that. I was so sleepy. I didn't get any sleep. I was just like awake. And I was just like, oh, that actually happened. Damn. Made everyone lose the game August 4th. Project Zomboid number one, July 31st. Yep, yep. Uh, monetization, the Hot Ones Challenge. That was a good one. That was good. First non-Tempest collab with Cali Senpai. Oh yeah, we played golf. I remember that. FTL number one was a fair bit after Zomboid. Interesting. Memberships open. I did the... Uh, I did the, I did the like, steal my Amazon account, send me weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I finally, like, got everything. And it's just, like, hanging out. I'm not gonna lie. Most of it, I haven't really used that much yet. <laughs> Like there's slippers, like barely even fit my feet. What? <clears throat> Remember the golf one is an anime convention? Oh, interesting. Interesting. First D and D session. Oh, first of many to go come, hopefully. Yeah. First off collab with Dez. Oh my god. I felt like a long time ago. We were playing Apex where I was the keyboard and he was the mouse or something. We ate hot wings. And he was like, he was like trying to like, he was trying to put the min in min max with like the hot sauce on the, on the chicken. He was like, that's enough, right? It's like, that's not enough, dude. That, like you have to, it's not enough. You have to put it in like a whole teaspoon at least. And he's like, ah, that's, that's a teaspoon. He's like, that's not a teaspoon. I know about tea. It's a teaspoon. It's not a teaspoon. Yeah. I remember that. Ah, 
2022 stream stats. Oh, average stream length two hours, 18 minutes. Okay, not bad. Total time stream 389 hours and 52 minutes, approximately 16 days. Not too bad. I had some hiccups there. I noticed. <laughs> I noticed. I noticed. <laughs> there's nothing about the um, the little snafu <laughs> where I couldn't stream. <laughs> Thank you, though. I appreciate that. <laughs> Favorite stream type is For sure. For sure. Ah. Uh, yeah, we've been through a lot together, but definitely... Definitely starting in, uh... From here on out. Just... I'm gonna stick to my schedule, right? I usually got Mondays and Tuesdays off. I'm streaming today because it's my birthday, and I, and I, wanna, I wanna check out this beautiful art that you guys made me. But I'm going to stick to my schedule and I'm not going to break it for one year, okay? If I break it, or no, 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 here's the thing, here's the thing. If, like, my health is in danger and I have to go to the hospital, of course, of course I will prioritize my health, right? But I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going on vacation, guys. Oh, something came up. Like, that's not going to happen. Like, this will be a priority for one year. And then maybe after a year, I, I'll, like, take a vacation or something, whatever. It doesn't matter. But for one year, doubt? No. Well, that's fair. That's fair. I've given you reason to doubt me, so I just have to. I just have to. Just have to get it done. All right. Appreciate it, though. Appreciate it. Okay. Vesper versus Magni hot sauce challenge, part one. Optimism. Vesper's reaction. Magni's reaction. Interesting. This is actually really cool. What? It's basically Tabasco sauce. I sleep. Yeah, a little bit spicy. That's delightful. That's yummy. <laughs> There's a three-eyed... What? Is a three-eyed furry on the... What? On the label? Edible? Okay. Uh-oh, it hit my lips all the way in. This one is yummier than the last one. It's spicier. I'm sweating now. Okay. Oh man, that's... I might be in trouble, oh my. Are my teeth falling out? Any semblances of eating it for food's sake is gone! Okay, okay, next. <laughs> Table bashing. I've made a terrible mistake. This is what my manager was saying when they told me I probably shouldn't do this. Oh shit. That might kill a baby! <laughs> I saw my dead grandfather. I've made a terrible mistake. There's three left to go. I'm still standing. Okay. Okay. It smells like worn socks. It's giving me a headache. Oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> Number nine. Manic laughter. <laughs> I'm a fool. It's a solid foot away from my nose, and I can smell it. I'm in excruciating pain, and I don't want to eat this sauce again. It's not right. It's not right. My soul is taking damage. It's deeper than my flesh. Oh, so funny. <laughs> and number 10. The two million Scoville unit sauce. I can't feel my face. I can see Kali Senpai through a door of light. The hubris of man. Why would you make such a sauce? <laughs> then Magni's reaction was cheers. <laughs> cheers. I think I remember looking at him as he said that. I think I remember looking at Dez as he said that. He's like pale and there was like sweat coming down his forehead. I remember that. I remember. And we had like gloves on and we had like these arm sleeves that he gave me. He has like a pack of arm sleeves just to like keep, keep everything like covered and stuff like that. And we were both just like, uh, uh, uh. 
The last word he said. Oh, good times. I actually, um, I have a highlight video of this. Vesper versus Magni Hot Sauce Challenge. I think I have a video, uh, like it's already been edited and it's uploaded, ready to go. I just don't have like a thumbnail or anything for it. Yeah, it was ready like in December. <laughs> Maybe even before that. All right, all right, moving on, moving on. We took Vespers, yeah. Yeah, I have all this, this stuff. Cool. Oh no, you made it into magic cards. Ooh, Magic the Gathering. Oh. I think I should break out the stasis deck for this. Mm. Get stasis. It's not even rotated. Like, you're not allowed to rotate anything. You're not allowed to rotate anything. Ah, Vesper Let Membership Channel. Take over his Amazon account for a day. These are the gifts the Vessies decided on. Yep. We have the um, the bone conduction headphones. I've used those. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. I'm gonna level with you. I haven't worn the hat or the flip flops. I haven't. I haven't worn those outside. <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I'll just. I'll just tell you straight up. Like I haven't worn those. The instant underpants. I added to my bug out bag. I've got one in the trunk of my car and I was just like, it's a joke, but like, who knows, right? Who knows? We got scammed. The, the dehydrated water, there's nothing in there. We got scammed. There's nothing, there's nothing in there. I mean, fair. We bought those. He hates us. <laughs> Not the drip. Not yet. Not yet. Well, let's let's look at like what the actual cards do. Yeah. Let's look at what the actual cards do. Two forest attach Phyrexian Aeropex to the target of Vesti. Vesti's spontaneously sing top of the world during upkeep. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Foxy Grandpa, legendary artifact. One colorless, two swamp. Attach Foxy Grandpa to target Grandpire. Target Grandpire somehow becomes even more Foxy. <laughs> I didn't want to do this, but like, I have to. I just have to. <laughs> Archie McPhee's instant underpants. Instant. Bug out. Bug I've never seen bug out before. Oh, it's it's probably just It's probably just like a yeah. All creatures leave the battlefield and flee to Archie McPhee's doomsday bunker in Canada. Fortune favors the prepared mind. I love that. Dehydrated water instant. The most gullible member of Tempest receives a can of a can of dehydrated water. Ayo, how the fuck does this even work, Axel? Can I can I make a point? I actually don't think Axel is that gullible. He's got really sharp instincts. I don't think he's that gullible. I think I'm the most gullible member of Tempest, I think. I think me or Betel. I'm not sure who's the most gullible, but I don't think I've seen Axel get like hoodwinked. Like he can tell when like somebody's messing with him like pretty quickly. Ah, delicious. <laughs> Yo, how the fuck did this even work? It's pretty good. Fish flip flops. Legendary creature. Zero one. Oh, okay. When fish flip flops enters the garden, all integrity leaves the garden. <laughs> It's pretty good. Battle for sure. Battle for sure. Battle for sure. Battle, yeah. Battle messes with himself. It's too funny. It's too funny. Come on. It's definitely battle. Yes, so now I'm number two. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take that win. That's a that's a dub for your old grandpa Vesper Noir, right? I'm no longer the most gullible member of Tempest. I'm like number two. I'm the second most gullible. I'll take that. 
I'll buy that for a dollar. Okay. Duck Bell of Necrosh. Two colorless and tap this bad boy. Legendary creature. Pedestrian nightmare. Caster's bicycle gains haste. Ooh. It becomes public enemy number one. Quack, quack. Ring. <sighs> okay, okay. Thermal imaging monocular. Damn! I forced? What the heck? What does it do? Legendary equipment? Two forest. Equip. Equip creature pretends he is happy to see you. Very happy. <laughs> Feeling inadequate. <laughs> okay. 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 ETK. 2420K0. Unfortunately... I couldn't get the 24-inch one. I did, and then it was just, like, too big. And I couldn't, like, set it up properly, and then I had to, like, return it. Yeah. You should do your best to achieve number one most gullible member. I believe in you, Vesper. I feel like we should... I feel like we should respect Betel and let him keep that title. That is such a Magni quote. <clears throat> Two Swamp and Tap. DTK 2420K0 successfully runs crisis. All fuses in a three mile radius explode simultaneously. DTK 2420K0, brother. I have searched the world for you. Now leave! <laughs> Curio <-bot. laughs> That's pretty good. Ah, yes. Curio bot. God, their characters are so good. Altor. Castle 13, who is formerly known as Castle 12, that we never fixed his, like, stuff. Curio bot. Oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, the graveyard. The rejected ones. Spicy wolf. Enchantment. Is it, is it mountain? I, I don't even remember. Red is mountain, right? Ah, fuck, it's been such a long time. This is like forest, swamp, mountain, plain. What the fuck is water again? I don't even fucking remember. God, I haven't played MTG in a long time. You know, you know, the last time I played MTG was when they added like the dual cards, and I was just like, all right, that's too complicated for this boomer. I'm out. I completely forgot. God. Island! Island! I remember now, yeah. Ah, good stuff. <laughs> One mountain, three forest, craft work. All non-human creatures become wolf spirits, and the harvest is bountiful. While one may lose much because of avarice, nothing is ever accomplished by abstinence. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Tungsten cube. There's so many. There's so many amazing super chats. All right, I swear to you guys. <sighs> Maybe I should replace the Zasadan with like a uh, super chat reading. I think I'll do that on Wednesday. All right. I promise I'll read all of it and then I'll say thank you to everybody that left a super chat for my birthday yesterday and today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I might sneakily disable, like, Super Chats for that stream, too. Just so that I could do it, like, without being distracted. <laughs> Is it about my cube? <laughs> I get that reference right there, Mupon. That's so good. It was like, uh... Your car is being towed. Your car has been impounded. Your car is about to be crushed into a cube. Your car has been crushed into a cube. Your cube is about to be towed. Here's a phone call. Is it about my cube? Tungsten cube. Legendary artifact. Four colorless and tap. Tungsten cube's owner receives six cloves of crushed garlic. Wallets cry. A nickel will get you on the subway, but garlic will get you a C. It's actually pretty good. C 
So, I had like a plan. I had a plan if I actually did get the tungsten cube. I was gonna do a bit where like every time I got up to do something on stream, I would actually like pratfall and fall over the tungsten cube. And like the idea would be that like, it, ju it just teleports in front of my foot whenever I get up to do something. And then like it would have its own personality and stuff. But like, I, thankfully I didn't buy it because it's $3,600 without tax or like 2,500, something crazy like that. Can you even imagine? Ah, oh, good times. I remember that. That was a, that was a fun stream. <sighs> some tea? I should stop rambling and continue or I'm not going to get through everything. <clears throat> Gamer Grampire. <sighs> I know I'm not good at video games, but I think what I what I bring to the table as a streamer is like when I like a video game, I like a video game. I get into it, even if I'm not very good at it. And I think I do frustrate the type of person that wants to watch like competency. But if you don't care about that and you just want to watch somebody enjoy a, a video game, I'm like up there. I think I'm up there. What tea are you drinking today? I am drinking, I'm drinking a dark oolong, which is basically a black tea, but there's like subtle differences. I think if I, I think if I sat you down in front of me with my tea set, I could show you like, this is a high-end like black tea and then you would drink it and you'd be like, delicious. It's like, this is a high-end dark oolong, which a lot of people wouldn't be able to tell is not a black tea. And then you would drink it and you'd be like, ah, okay. There's, there's like differences to it. Ah. But it's a dark oolong. Yeah. No coin. No coin. No coin. No coin. When our grandpire isn't favoring us with one of his incredible zets on streams, we get a rare glimpse of the gamer grandpire. And I'm a, like a, I'm like an endurance gamer, right? I could do 10 hours like no sweat. I start to feel it at around like 10 to 12 hours. And then I think I can go all the way up to 20 before like actually feeling negative effects. I do think that like what I bring to Tempest and Hollister's English was supposed to be the guy that streams for a long time. And like for various reasons, like here and there, it's not something that I've done regularly, but yo, Sky Limit, this is your art? It's so cute. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I was thinking like maybe once a month I could do like a long stream. Just to start off, like once a month, I'd be like, okay, here's my endurance stream of the of the month. And then like slowly ramp up. And then and then by the end of 2023, I've got like the Howard Hughes thing going on. Like my fingernails are crazy long. Or like a scraggly beard. Like I haven't left my house in like eight months. I'm just gaming all day long. Uh, anyway. Two of the games he's introduced to, to many of us. First Hollow Stars member to play, Faster Than Light and Project Zomboid. Both of these games have become quick fan favorites and some besties got together, collated some interesting statistics and insights across the two games. Oh, interesting. Fruits of this feat, I hope you enjoy this brief glimpse of our gamer grandpire skills. What the heck? Yo! You, the names of my boats, I remember that. Wow. Total beacons visited 713. Most beacons visited in a single game, 103 in the Dingus 2. Total dead jumps, 116 out of 713. That's a lot of dead jumps. Most dead jumps in a single game, 23 in the Witta Galley. The Witta Galley, I think is the name of a pirate ship, but I don't remember which pirate ship. Whose ship is that? It's not... Blackbeard's pirate ship because Blackbeard's pirate ship is called like the Queen Anne's Revenge or something like that. That's crazy. Damn, somebody like went back and watched everything. It's really funny looking at like the two dead, the two boats that exploded. <laughs> you can see like they didn't make it to the end. <laughs> the sneaky mag. What the hell is that ship? I have no recollection of the sneaky mag. P 
pirates are based. <laughs> I will not elaborate. Oh, this is so cool. Faster Than Light is definitely, like, very near and dear to my heart. I will watch anybody that streams Faster Than Light. Literally anybody. And then I get to be the guy that's like, mm, bad move there. Mm, bad move. I wouldn't have done that. Do this instead. Okay. Faster Than Light battles get rotated. Leave. Parlay. Escape. Murder. Destroy. Let's go. Wait, what's the difference between murder and just... Oh, murder. Murder is like you... You kill everybody on the ship, but you leave this, this ship intact. And then destroy is... Like, okay. Total ships encountered, 300. Total ships defeated, 246. I can do better than that. Most ships encountered in a single game, 50 in the axle. Most ships defeated in a single game, 46 in the axle. Okay. Most crews murdered in a single game. 28 crew in guerrilla mode. Oh, interesting. Before they added advanced mode, before they added the advanced edition of FTL, like in the original FTL, because I played before they added the advanced edition. I played FTL like at launch and it was really good, right? So before the quote unquote DLC, um, like crew kill was the number one way to play the game. I was a crew kill player like before that. Yeah. So you can actually play it without the advanced edition, right? Like you could fire up FTL right now and then uncheck advanced edition and then play it the way that it was originally played and you'll understand like play it with a boarding crew and it's just good even as a stealth ship i remember like playing boarding back back in the day it was just good yeah they like nerfed it it was so good that they nerfed it which is why i play like gunship when i'm playing advanced mode i think gunship is like the most efficient way to play it but back in the day Axle sweep, let's go. I don't even remember what boat the axle is. Does anybody remember? Okay, we should move on. We're already like 30 minutes in. <laughs> and I, there's a lot of cool stuff to look at. Faster than light, are you winning? Most scrap gained in a single game. 2,890. Oh wow, that's a lot of scrap. Most scrap gained at a single beacon. 94 in the Tempest. Oh wow. Fastest win, 2 hours, 21 minutes in gorilla mode. I think that was normal. I don't think that was hard. Do I always play on normal? I think I play on hard sometimes, right? Fastest hard mode win. There you go. 2 hours, 33 minutes in the dingus 2. Oh, okay. Overall win, weight, win rate, 65, 62.5%. 5 out of 8 games. That's actually not too bad. But that's factoring in normal mode, which is like normal mode. I think I could, I'm above 50% win rate. Hard mode, I'm like 10% at best. I'm not good enough to play hard mode like normally. Yeah. Hope the karaoke went well. I was, I wasn't buzzed. I got like fully drunk because I didn't eat. <laughs> I, ate, I ate lunch at like noon or like 1 p.m. to do prep. And then I completely forgot that, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'll do another one. All right. Vesties that are, vesties that are in, in Europe or, or areas of the world that are, like, convenient to tune in at 10, 10 a.m. Give me, like, a month, maybe two months. Give me month, a month to two months tops. And then I'll recharge my battery and then I'll do I'll do a karaoke for you like at this time. Okay? Alright? I can promise you that. And I'll be sober for that one. I will be completely sober for that one. That one will probably also be unarchived and will also not be able to be rebroadcast. So you just gotta like tune in for that. You Aww. You anyways, yeah. <coughs> I'll show up. I'll do give me a month or two months to recharge and then I'll do that one. Okay. What is this? Bachman, Zoltan, Mantis. Oh, these are the these this is the crew. Interesting.
Cool. I do favor Zoltan when I can get them. I like Zoltan. Oh my god. Chad is going wild. He loves us. Uh. It's just a it's just a scheduling thing. Happy birthday, Vesper. It's been a while since I've caught a stream. I was able to watch your birthday stream in today. Thank you, thank you. Sayo, thank you for the super chat. I apologize if I'm missing a bunch of super chats. I'm just like, it's difficult for me to look over because I should I should be focusing on on the art. The little the cool little birthday stuff. Guild Tempest Project Zomboy Club. I keep dying. I keep dying like over and over again. Yeah. Survival times. Season one, season two. <laughs> so Dez won season one, Altair won season two. Okay. And I keep dying really early on. Yeah. Oh my God. Zomboid. That was an interesting arc where we could only log in and play together. I've never played, I've never played like any, I don't, have I ever played a multiplayer game like that? That's, season three is going to be like our Minecraft server. It's just like you log on when you log on. No, no, no restrictions, no restrictions. I let my guard down when I'm in a group. I don't know what to tell you guys. When I'm alone, like I never let my guard down. I'm like paranoid, right? But for some reason in Zomboid, when we're playing as like a, a like a like a team of survivors, like I just let my guard down. I don't look behind me anymore. I don't I don't like triple check to make sure that I've got like at least a spare car ready to go. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah. Good old Zomboid. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. This is slander. What is this? Come on. Come on, man. Okay, let's let's speed through this slide. Project Zomboid Pansu Collection. During a Zomboid stream, Vesper collected 30.2 kilograms of prized Pansu. That's the same weight as 1.61 tungsten cubes. 33.93 copies of the Lord of the Rings. I I'd want like citation on like what on what type of what type of book that is. Hardcover. 67.1 blocks of tofu. 1,006 D20 dice. Okay. 1,510 tea bags. Okay. Okay. And then underneath it says, we're so rich. I don't need to apologize. It was just a bit. I thought it was funny. I thought that you guys would find it funny. It only remains to be cataloged by color. I mean, you got it. You had, you, I mean, it was just a bit, but. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay. It's not frozen. You have to, you have to organize it by colors. You just have to, right? You just have to. Okay. We're moving on. We're moving forward. What is the Vesti? A happy pile of admirers. <laughs> I get that reference, but I can't. Talk about it. <laughs> the phrase Vesti is derived from the title Vest Friends and itself an amalgam of Vesper and Friends. It suggested a potential fan base nickname during Vesper's debut stream. The phrase has become synonymous with those who are fans of Vesper Noir. Vesties are commonly characterized as bats of varying colors and regularly sport. Oh, I wanted to talk about something. I have like a mascot of the first Vesti. It's not you guys. It doesn't represent you guys, but it's like a mascot, and that represents like my buddy, Vesti. 
and uh and and, and he's been with the, he's been with me since before I joined like Holostars. So like that's my buddy. That's my mascot. And then I do I do like the I do like the bat. You guys you guys yeah. That's like that could be like the official like Vesti like avatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show us. Maybe, maybe on Wednesday, huh? Maybe on Wednesday. We got it. We got a lot of stuff to get through. I think. Um, I think I can only stream for about like two, two and a half hours today. I have to. I have to rest. <laughs> I have to rest. I have to eat, and then I got. I mean, my desk is just like absolutely destroyed. I left a beer can in my room, which is like unacceptable. My room can't have any food. It has to be like clean. Yeah, I have to. I have to like clean and do maintenance today. Show us right now. Show us right now, please. He hates us. We got blue ball. Okay, fine. You know what? <sighs> okay. Uh, let me. Let me hide this. Okay, where is that? Nope, I can't show you that. Woo! <laughs> Thank God it turned up. <laughs> Man. There's a lot of top secret stuff in Discord I cannot show you. Oh my God. Thank God I... Where the F is it? Mascots, here we go. That's everybody's. I can't show you everybody's. Did they give us an individual one? Wait, are we not allowed to... Wait a second. I My manager sent me a message and they were like, Oh, you could show... You could... You could... Realize, forgot to mention your mascot. Can you show him up on the upcoming? So I do have the ability to show, but where? Where's the image? <laughs> I don't see the image. Vesti. Vesti, where are you? Come back, I don't mean what I said. <laughs> it's the play on art. <laughs> it's so good. Where he's like doing a windmill or whatever. A flare. <laughs> What? How far up do I have to go? What? Bro, I don't have enough time. Bro, I got like two and a half hours for this stream. I have to I have to look through like everything. Hey, I'm really sorry. I just can't find like I'm looking I'm looking through my Discord and my manager gave me permissions to like show it off, but I don't have the picture. I just have like the the picture of like everybody's stuff and it says like do not show this one we're still getting like legal checks so it's just like I don't underwear no no I I literally don't know where it is I'm sorry I'm gonna I, all right you know I'm gonna I'm gonna put it into the the discord <laughs> I literally cannot find an image of just Vesti I'm guessing I can't show the one with all eight of our mascots right Uwu please help money chan okay I tried Vesties I tried I just I can't I can't find it I literally can't find it. I tried my best. I don't hate you. I love you guys. I just, I, I couldn't, I can't. I couldn't find it. I can't. I can't. Okay. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and bring it back. Uh, window capture. Please don't show anything weird. Okay, we're good. Okay. I tried. I I 
I did try my best to show you guys. I was, I had every intention of doing it. I just couldn't find it. <laughs> like, it looks very similar to the the Vesti bat, but a little bit less round, and his head is a teacup. Okay, Th that's the best I can do for you guys. Okay, it looks like a little like Vesti. Like it looks kind of similar to you guys, but it's got like a big old teacup for a head. Kind of cute. He's kind of cute. He's got like a big old, big old teacup for a head. Okay, okay. The next two slides are polls that we sent out to the Vesti collectors so they could all join in on the birthday celebrations. Oh, interesting. Okay. HP 12, MP 13, strength 9, dexterity 10. Intelligence 13. Let's go. Lock 11. <laughs> Equipped item. Tome. 24%. Rapier. 29%. T set. 46%. Let's go. We asked the Vessies to roll a D20 on each of their stats to pick one item to equip. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Huh. This makes sense then. Depending on degrees of freedom, we could make this like statistically significant. I would love to see. <laughs> I'm guessing there was more than 30 Vesties that rolled a D20. I'm guessing there's more than 30. So we could make uh what is it called again? We could we could run ah I'm I'm being dumb. <laughs> we could run like a T test, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A T test, because I like T. What's the other one? Z test? I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. That's actually really cool. So most of you guys like the T. Okay, okay. 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 The most important vest T poll. We also we also polled the vesties for their T preferences. Interesting. Favorite T? White, oolong, black. Other, green, herbal, matcha. Interesting. Other includes chai, floral, fruit, puar, and roasted teas. Oh, interesting. I would put floral tea under herbal, I think. Chai, chai is both like actual tea leaves, like mixed in with a bunch of other herbs, not herbs, uh, spices as well. That would be under other, I think, not herbal. Huh. Herbal gang? I like fruit. Fruit tea is different from like herbal tea, for sure. Sweetener? Sometimes a little. Yes. No. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I think I've told you this like pretty early on. I'm not like a tea elitist. I like milk tea. I like sugar and tea. It's just I think um, for the high end stuff, it's it is kind of a waste to put in like milk and sugar into like really really high end stuff, right? It's like making it's like, it would be like making like like a coke and whiskey. With a $200 single malt scotch, right? It's just, you shouldn't do that. But with, with Jack Daniels? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I have friends to enjoy tea with. It's like, pretty rare. Round, round where I grew up, I think coffee was like the number one. Which, coffee is good. I don't, I don't dislike coffee. It's just a little bit too strong for me. Caffeine wise. So I'm drinking tea with the Vesties now. Cool. Okay. Okay. Vestie projects for Vesper's birthday. The next handful of slides are dedicated to specific projects and submissions the Vesties have been working on to celebrate Aroshi's very special day, not only with Vesper, but with each other. The Vesties have accumulated ideas and submissions expressing love, support, and gratitude from Vesties all over the world for our one and only Vesper Noir. Thank you. Thank you so much. We hope you can enjoy each project's unique flair. 
Omedeto. Oh, happy birthday in Jap JP, Japanese. Thank you. Okay, let's check. Teacup catalog, yep. We have that. Is any vestiges our grandpa's an exceptional, exceptional tea aficionado and we'd like to share that passion with him. Each vestie who submitted has designed their own themed teacup. Oh, that's so cool. Descriptions of their envisaged tea or tasting recommendations. Go ahead and take a look and take a toast. Vesper's birthday. Oh, I have that downloaded and I'm ready. I'm going to look at that. I'm going to look at it. Yeah, there's a little picture of my face. I see it. That's cute. The scrapbook, I downloaded that as well. Oh, the art is so cute. Look at that. Wait, show me the bicycle. Zoom in. I don't see a rear derailleur. Is that a fixie? Is that a single speed IDK? There's no rear derailleur on that bad boy. Show me the handlebars. Enhanced. There's definitely no rear derailleur on that bad boy. Anyway. Scrapbook. When he's not streaming, our Oshi loves to adventure outside and go touch some grass. I do. I've been known to touch some grass. Besties from all over have shared some exciting artwork, photography, writing skills, replete with Vesper escapades and sprees. Okay. Join the Vesties on an incredible tour of their imagination with Grandpire. <laughs> I'll look at all of this, okay? Guest book? I, I, I read that. Yep. No birthday celebration would be complete without the opportunity for all of us to send our love and our best wishes to our resident scholar. This is the one that they were like, maybe you shouldn't show this on stream just in case. I read through it and I was like, yeah, I understand. There's nothing like effed up on it, but like definitely there's a lot of personal stuff, right? Which we're not sure if they want people to see that on, on live stream. Yeah. The Vesper crew have gotten together, contributed messages and artwork celebrating everything we admire and enjoy about Vesper Noir. Show our appreciation and support on this very special day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> This is um one of the six things that they were just like, eh, maybe not show this on stream. Yeah. The fun facts were actually really fun. What was my favorite? Ah, I don't want to do I don't want to play favoritism, but like there was a couple where I was just like cracking up. Some of them were like legitimately funny. <laughs> one thing that Vesper has always been passionate about is us. <laughs> yeah. His genuine fervor for learning new things extends to everything around him, including his vesti, so we thought it would be a great idea to submit random fun. <laughs> he called it. Go check out this fascinating and eclectic compilation of whimsy. Who knows? You might find yourself. <laughs> you might learn something about a vesti yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's good stuff. <sighs> I'm not going to play favoritism, but there was a couple where, like, I had to stop reading and just, like, laugh. Ah. <laughs> uh... The base definitely reflects like the streamer, right? <laughs> you guys have some like crazy stories about yourselves. It's pretty good. One last word before we go. Thank you to our resident scholar, Vesper Noir, for sharing his special day with us. We look forward to sharing many more. Wait, is my screen shaking? No, we're good. All the Vesties wish you a very happy birthday filled with all the things that bring you joy. Thank you. He's so aware of us. <laughs> May this special day be a celebration of all your accomplishments and a new beginning for many more adventures. Here's to another year of making wonderful memories. All the happiness is yet to come. We hope to see, we hope you enjoy your day. Thank you. I am. I'm having a great day. PowerPoint team credits. Thank you, PowerPoint team. Let's go ahead and like say thank you to everybody that, that worked on it. Okay. Uh, Mitsu Basil, Orion Valiant, Wild Jinko. Wisterebun, Bloom X, Edison, Grand Wizard Vivi, K Midori, Mayari Marionette, Mickey C, thank you very much, Moo, Nogare, Nix, Nix Thorns, Semi Luminary, Sky Limit Art, Superpong Studio, Sushi and Taco, thank you very much for the, the PowerPoint. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Ah. Thank you. Yay. 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 
We're not done yet. We have a video that we need to watch. Which you guys have told me is not going to get me in trouble. So I'm going to watch that live. Should I show the should I show the video part or just audio? I don't know. Let's uh let's hide this. Hide the window. Wait, is there anything left? Yeah, this is the last one. Okay. Now there's a video. Uh Show the video. You good? I think we're good. We good? We good? Let's go ahead and turn off. There's a lot of stuff that I need. Hold on a second. There's a lot of stuff that I need to turn off. Turn off the BGM. Okay. I, I have music playing that I need to turn off. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Pause it. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, I need to turn on desktop audio like that. Crank it up a little bit like Soldier Boy. Okay. Okay. I think we're ready. Uh, show window capture. Okay. Can you guys still hear the BGM? Can you guys still hear it? BGM should be muted, right? We good? We good? Show us the video. The video's up, right? Okay, good. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's go. Greetings, Vesper. A group of Vesties have teamed up to bring you this video message. This video is best viewed together with the Vesties. Optional, of course. Here we are. The video will start at the 10 second mark. Okay, here we go. We're watching. <clears throat> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> oh, it's muted. It's muted. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's muted. What happened? How come it's not showing my desktop audio? Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. It's muted. Oh, man. All right, hold on a second. Desktop audio. What? Why is it muted? I don't know how to fix that. I'm going to level with you. I don't know. Oh, man. Uh, How do I? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Nope. Okay. Oh no. How do I fix this? Uh hmm. Why does my desktop audio not work? Desktop audio monitor off, but it should be on. How do I fix this? I have I have a Go XLR, so like the settings are like a little bit wonky, and I don't fully understand it. Turn it up. It's it's turned like all the way up. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, uh. This setting. Okay. How is it like not working? Maybe BGM muted? Turn on BGM? Why? What? Monitor plus output? Uh, 
Hmm. Oh, maybe I maybe if I turn on the monitoring. Let's try that. Desktop audio. Monitor and output. Okay, let's try that. Please work. No. What? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I can't monitor my mic. No, there's no way. I, I, I honestly, I don't think I, I'm wasting too much time and I'm getting a little bit, I'm panicking. So I think I should just move on. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's, it's just, it's just OBS and go XLR. I just, we're just going to move on. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Muted still. Oh, I just, I don't, I don't know what I can, I don't know. Uh, I might, I might stop using the go XLR. It's causing like a lot of issues that I just, I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. It's not. It's not. The volume is not low. It's perfectly fine. I just turn on the CC instead. I think closed ca the captions. We were warned is like they. We have no control over that or something. Yeah. Send the link. I don't know if I have permission to send the link. This is like not my video, right? It's a private video that they sent to me. So like, maybe if if the people that made the video give permission, I could do that. Just link it. Do we have? Do I have permission to link it? Do I have permission to link it? Talk with Des about it. Yeah, but I can't. I can't. He's asleep. There's no. There's no shot that he's gonna be awake at 11 a.m. Is Des? He's not gonna wake up for like another four hours, right? It's just I can't. I can't. We just. We're just gonna move on. <laughs> Rudy! Notre Dame! Woo! Rudy! Rudy's a good movie. I highly recommend it. You can share. It's on Twitter. Is Sam. This is incredible. <laughs> he called me Grandpa. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. This is incredible. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I did I show anything crazy? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Read super chat. You have our permission. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? Let's let's do it. I can link it then. Elysium Delivery Services. Yeah, that's them. Okay. There you go. Permission granted. Perms granted. Pin message. There you go. Thank you. Elysium Delivery Services. Thank you very much for that video. We pinned it. Perms granted. Perms obtained. We saw your credit card number. Uh <laughs> Okay. Okay. Now we have two PDFs to look at and then I can full screen that bad boy. Is there a cleaner way to look at this? I don't think there is. I think this is about it. Do you guys do you guys know do you guys ever watch Rudy? 
Is it my favorite sports movie? It might be. It might be, actually. BGM on. Correct. Thank you. Okay, BGM on. Mute desktop audio once again. Show window? Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Maybe I can uh maybe I can like crop out. Let's let's do a little bit of cropping, shall we? Let's do a little bit of cropping. And then we can make it bigger. Cool. I like that. Cool. Okay. Lock it. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? We good? Zoom in. A little bit of artistry. Let's go. Hit the screen button. Okay. Are we good? Are we good? Oh, I want to turn my, I want to turn my actual, like the music that I was, cause I'm like, you know, hold on a second. <laughs> One moment. Okay. We're back. Okay. We're back. Adventure Scrapbook by the Vesties. We're starting a journey. Let's go. Forward from the Vesties. Happy birthday, Vesper. You made it. We know that you're a big lover of touching grass and hiking. Yep. So we figured that we'd make a scrapbook themed around the adventures of your Vesties as well as your adventures for your birthday. Yo, Jojo Story. This is your... It's beautiful. I thought the art... <laughs> There's a little pepper! And I'm going bikepacking. There's the derailleur! I see the derailleur. You see that little, like, little... Can you see my, my mouse button? I know the shape of a derailleur anywhere. That's a rear derailleur. Mid-cage looks like. It's not a long-cage derailleur. I don't think it's got a clutch, but I can't really tell. It's a mid-cage dera rear derailleur with no clutch. There's no clutch. Yeah. Thank you so much. But <laughs> Spear, that's actually what it looks like. And a little Vesti with the little camera. Oh, thank you for the art. <laughs> okay, okay. Now we finish the forward and then we move and then we move on. <clears throat> we figured that we'd make a scrapbook themed around the adventures of your Vesties as well as your adventures for your birthday, a token of appreciation from us. It's been a wild ride for you and its vesties these past few months. Yeah, but no matter what, we will always appreciate you as our silly, unhinged grip. I do tend to be silly. I am. It's true. Here's to a lot more fun adventures together. P.S. We hit a few hem punces in the pages as an Easter egg. Four of them. See if you can find... Oh. Okay. Is there one on the first page? That would be the ultimate fake out if there was one on the first page before you even let me know that they're there. I don't think so. Is there one on this page? I don't see it. I think we're good. I think we're good. Ooh, scrapbook contributors. Participating Vesties, thank you. Photos and messages. Remian, thank you. Sachan, thank you. Dead RKGK, thank you. Sushi, thank you. Subapong, thank you. Nyanings, Nyaningsa, thank you, thank you. Jaffa, thank you. Marks, Marksman, Ontego, thank you. Ontego, Ontego. Sakura Mikage, thank you. New Monics, thank you. Olive, Xenophil, Olive, thank you. <laughs> Norench, thank you. B, thank you. Mowo, thank you. Nogare, thank you. Tsukiko Ichinose, thank you. Mrs. Chibi. Rhoda, Mrs. Chibi, thank you. This <laughs> is the best Proshi. 
short story. <gasps> you wrote a short story? I've been thinking lately that like I want to try to start writing again. Starting with the folk tale. I wanted to make a folk tale in the D&D campaign that I'm making for the boys. And then like... Because I think it adds like... Anyways, whatever. <laughs> it adds flavor. Flying Space Whale. Thank you very much. Brainy. Thank you very much. Happy Vainglory. Thank you very much. Nyx. Thank you very much. Alistair. VT. Thank you very much. Inks, Ink X Soda. Thank you. Amber Lee. Thank you. Vivi. Vivi and Shiro? Vivi? Vivi. Thank you. Ma Whoa. Maguin. 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 Thank you very much. Taco. Thank you. Callisto. Thank you. Sophia G. Sombra. Thank you. Juice Man, thank you. Eri, thank you. Kale, thank you. Sana, thank you. Ame, thank you. Lambda Delta, thank you. Bunny Mai Mai, thank you. Kirin, thank you. Konoha Kairi, thank you. N. N? Isaki Saras, N, thank you very much. Multi Miss Cosmo, thank you very much. Oh, short story. Oh, whoops. I was reading it like this, like as two rows, but the short story writers, Multi Miss Cosmo. Cosmo, thank you. Xena Sander, thank you. Co Doodles, thank you. Semi Luminary, thank you. Okay. I read it in the wrong order, and I apologize. Accessibility Team, thank you very much. Dead RKGK, thank you very much. Olive, thank you. No Got It, thank you. Bunny Mai Mai, thank you. Miss Chibi, Mrs. Chibi, thank you. Tsukiko Ichinose, thank you. Kirisvel, thank you. Agua, thank you. Kiri Kirisvel. Illustrators, thank you. Whittle Bagel. <laughs> You're just a Whittle Bagel. <laughs> I like your name a lot. Ooh, ooh. I'm just a Whittle Bagel. <laughs> I love that name. I don't know why. I'm sorry. If I'm not dunking on your name. I just like it. <laughs> Genie Heart, thank you. Huizona, thank you. Lucky Carrot, thank you. Katra, thank you. Clover Waffle, thank you very much. Kanoke, thank you. Oopsie Doodles, thank you. Tako Yoaki, thank you. Astrofell, thank you. CLY Knight, thank you. Choco, thank you. Grace, thank you. Atitaru, thank you. Pow, Pow Pandan, thank you. Seu, Se, Seu, thank you. Luna, thank you. Sho, thank you. Chelsea Rose, thank you. Project Management. Oh, wait, underwear? Underwear? I think we're good. I think we're good. It's gonna be sneaky when it comes in. It's gonna be sneaky. It's, it's in there somewhere, right? I'm gonna punish myself if I don't find all four. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, don't worry about it. It's just for fun. <laughs> Could you even imagine? No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not. Project lead, Taco, thank you very much. Page layout editor, Nix, thank you very much. Graphic designer, artist, Moo, thank you very much. Editor, Semi Luminary, thank you so much. Additional assist ar asset artist, Lambda Delta, thank you so much. K Midori, thank you very much. M, wait. Yeah, M, M, Wisteri Bun. Suppapong, thank you very much. Okay, punished whisper. <laughs> okay. Photos from afar. Is the is the gun saber? Copium. Underwear? Underwear? I don't see any underwear. We're good. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Here's a picture of a flower farm at the side of a mountain that we visited during the holidays. The flowers in this farm are sold in the city. It's like a 10 hour drive from this mountain. Wonder cheers to a wonderful birthday. Whoa. Wait, what? Can I zoom? Can I enhance? You see the There's definitely rose right here. It looks similar to like a tea garden. Interesting, interesting. Setting the PDF to two page spread if possible, but no pressure to they're just created that way. Oh, wait, how do I do that? I don't know how to 
Hold on. Let me let me if if that's the way that it's meant to be done, I will attempt to do it. Get to width, rotate. Two page view. Here we go. Oh, that looks really good. It worked. Okay. Now let's. <laughs> Window capture. Did it work? Did it work? Are we good? Okay, we're good. There's like rows behind. It looks like a tea garden, I think. Something. It reminds me of a tea garden. I live in Niagara Falls. Oh, well, Amber Lee says, uh, oh, that was Alistair VT. And then this one is Amber Lee. I live in the Niagara Falls, Canada, so I thought I would show you the waterfalls. I don't go on too many adventures, but I still thought I'd take a trip down to the water to show you it in the winter. When no one is there and the view is as breathtaking as ever, I hope you see it in person one day. Beautiful. Beautiful. What if I do a stream? <laughs> what if I do a stream where I go over the <laughs> Niagara Falls in a barrel? Do you remember that? Do you remember that meme? Do you remember that meme? It wasn't even a meme. People used to do that and they died doing it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> underwear? I don't see any underwear. Underwear check. We good? <laughs> the Niagara Falls. Huh. I would like to visit it. I don't know when the next time I'm going to take a trip, though, is, though. Definitely not for one full year. But after that, maybe. Maybe. You'd have to pre-record it. Please don't. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm not going to go over the Niagara Falls, like, in a barrel. That's insane. Where does it fall to? That's a good question. There's a river. You see that river? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Accessories from the HQ boys, yeah. Cover page page spread is currently incorrect. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Okay, hold on a second. In view, page display show cover page in two. How do I do that? How do I do that? How do I do that? New properties. Uh, I don't. Page display show cover page in two page view. Page spread is currently incorrect. I don't know how to do that. I am viewing it. <laughs> I'm viewing it in my browser, which is the issue. I think I'm simply not going to get to this today. Yeah, I keep, I keep, I keep effing up. I feel really bad. I feel terrible. Oh. oh, I feel bad. I don't know how to fix that with the. At the top, there's the view tab. View tab? Where? Let me, let me on. I feel bad. I'm sorry. I I don't see it. Okay. Um, I don't.
I just I didn't have enough time to set up. <laughs> I was given this like, and then and then I did my stream. That was like really stressful. But I did the streams, and then like I I immediately passed out, and then I woke up to do this, and I didn't like I should have set up beforehand, and I apologize. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Okay. And I think I just have to I just have to view it incorrectly, which is like oh, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay. How do I do that? Okay. There's just a lot of content keep going. Yeah. It's just stressful. I don't know. I don't know why it's stressful. <laughs> I don't like messing stuff up. It's just like a uh, uh, weird personality thing, quirk. How is it like not get to width? No, 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 no. Get to page. There we go. Yep. Sorry for it. Sorry for that. I'm just gonna. I, I have to move forward. Yeah, the way that it's working. Okay. <laughs> hey, underwear. I see it. I caught one. This Dez is right there. Looks fine. I like it. Like, I haven't noticed it looking off, but definitely, like... I'm a beginner artist. I'm a beginner artist, but I can already tell as a beginner artist, if I... If I make it... If I make an art piece and, like, the des graphic design of this book is art, right? And it's being viewed in a way that I didn't intend it to be viewed, I would definitely be... Yeah. I would definitely be like, oh no, they did it wrong, right? So I understand. And I would always try to like view it the way that the person that gifted it to me intended it to be viewed, but I I like, I don't think I can do it. I just don't have... I didn't use, I didn't download a program to properly view the PDF and like it doesn't have the option and I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's move on. Ame, thank you very much for the picture. Yo. Wait, I think I've seen... I think I saw a, a tweet of this. Did you tweet this out? I vaguely recall seeing this. Yeah. Happy birthday, Vesper. I took this picture in Marina Barrage, Singapore, because it reminds me of the time that I cycled here with my friends and of your bike hobbies. I bet you would love to cycle here. Yeah, it looks really nice, especially because there's a cycling route which connects all the landmarks in Singapore together. That's like super cool. Oh. Is this? This is like something on a Pokemon. You know what I'm talking about? It's like the bicycling route, like on Pokemon. Is this like bikes only? That is so cool. That's actually really cool. Thank you for the picture. We'll go down here. B. Hey Vesper, this was taken in Batu Pandang Radapan Angin in Indonesia. It's a hilltop overlooking the Dieng Plateau and it's green colored lake. That's a lake. I almost gave up halfway, but I made it and the view was so worth it. I hope you like it as well. I do. Wow. Look at the look at the mist, right? It must be like, is it is it fog or are you like, is that a cloud bank? Like you're up in a you're up at like very high elevation. And that's like not fog, that's like literally a cloud. That's really cool. For me, there's nothing cooler than you're hiking and you're pretty high up and then, and then boom, like a cloud just wanders into you, like runs into you and you're like, this is what it feels like to be in a cloud. <sighs> I would want to visit one day. Thank you for the view. Thank you for the picture. Fog is just low clouds anyways. Huh. I never considered that. That might be true. Like the shaft. 
Bunny my my, thank you for the picture. What the heck? It's a little bird. Is it a penguin? Looks like a little bird. Hello, resident scholar of Guild Tempest. I recently touched grass in Florida and took you with me to Disney Springs. This statue reminded me of you. Unhinged, but very cute. How do you get in touch with the penguin? Give him a wing? <laughs> Give him a wing. I hope I made you laugh and pray all your wishes come true. Thank you very much. Thank you, buddy. Disney Springs, huh? Interesting. So it is a penguin. It is a penguin. I thought that fog came from the ground, mist came from the sky. <laughs> Okay, level with me. How unhinged is that penguin? It looks pretty hinged to me, to my eye, but that might be because I'm like completely unhinged. I don't know. I don't know. Looks pretty okay to me. I do love birds. Yeah. Birds are like one of my favorite like type of animal. It's a penguin. Semi hinged, at least a six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, though. It's it's really interesting that I I could kind of feel like I'm hanging out with you guys because you're sh showing me pictures of places that you went. I like this. I like it a lot. Callisto, thank you very much for the picture. What do we got? This is a picture of the River Thames, right? It's not Thames, it's Thames, right? That's the way that you pronounce it. I think I learned that because, um, who taught me that? Somebody taught me that. I don't remember. Was it Xenogears? <laughs> I think Xenogears taught me that. The River Thames. Taken from the Millennium Bridge. Did you know that eels migrate up the river during the summer? Did you also know that jellied eels is a London delicacy? Although I can't really recommend it without gagging a bit. Oof. I don't know. Crying burb. BRB, hold on. What? Is that me? Enhance. I see the untucked shirt tail. I think that's me in there. We are men of the sea. Yeah. The River Thames. That's me. Eels migrate up the river during the summer. Huh. Is it like, is it related to like how they spawn maybe? See, see, I'm getting distracted because you, you gave me an interesting fact and now I want to know why. <laughs> Why do they go up the river during the summer? It's probably like a spawning thing. They're like, uh... They're like the Zerg, right? IDK. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, yeah. I'm gonna double check to make sure. <laughs> Can the eels feel love? <laughs> Thank you very much for this picture of the River Thames. Taken from the Millennium Bridge. Millennium Bridge. I need to Google that too. There's too many things that I need to Google. I feel like all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly go through this and say thank you to everybody and then like comment a little bit on the pictures they sent me. But I need to go back and reread this thing off stream with like Google open on the side and then Google everything interesting that you guys are showing because it's just like there's too much stuff that I want to Google. <laughs> Every picture is just like oh I want to Google that. <sighs> okay okay let's let's move forward. Dead RKGK, thank you very much. Yo, that's beautiful. Look at that sunset. Happy birthday, Vesper, fellow internet boomer. I drew you in one of the photos I took right before moving coast to coast. This was, it was taken at Provincetown in Massachusetts in November, 2015. I also made the glass mug myself. Thank you for being a collective grandpa of 
Five billion VTuber enjoyers. <laughs> it's art? What? Wait, hold on a second. Get the stupid mic out of the way. There's no shot. That's not art. That's a photograph. I'm doing like the meme of like the grandma in the moo moo and she's like leaning in. You know what I'm talking about? There's no shot that's art. That's a picture, right? That has to be. There's no way. Your art? Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dead RKGK. It's so beautiful. Wow, November 2015. What am I? Look at this graph. Look at this graph. You got one guide. I'm the art. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you. With the flower. I love it. <laughs> I do love it. Thank you for the art. Ah, okay. I think I... I think I heard Shinri say that he loves this style of art. Where it's like, um... What did he call it? Like a composite? Where it's like, illustration plus, like, photograph. And he's like, this is really cool. I love this style of art. And then I was like, oh, cool. But I didn't fully understand what he was talking about. But I feel like I understand a little bit better now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love, I love this meme. N, thank you very much. Oh man, that's beautiful. Look at that mountain. Where is this? Oh, Grand Canyon. Wait, is this Grand Canyon? Photo bashing. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. There should be another person here, right? It's like two guys that are like pointing and it's just like, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Hey Vesper, happy birthday. I went to the Grand Canyon to take pics of the snowy landscape but got bamboozled by fog. I had a fun hike and road trip regardless and got a good photo of the nearby mountain. Beautiful. Look at that. See that tree line in that photo? That's excellent cover. I think I could set up my like tent there and then nobody would know I'm there. I'm just like hanging out and I could melt the snow for water. Yeah. I could just hide. I want to go to there. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm not dropping frames, so I think it's on YouTube's end. I'm not dropping frames. Hello. I'm back. Don't worry. And thank you for very much for the photo. The Grand Canyon is one of my favorite places to go. It's actually, like, beautiful. Okay, next. Wait, underwear? Underwear check? We're good. Okay. Kirin, thank you very much for showing me this photograph. That's beautiful. Where is this? What is this? Here, Vesper, from the third photo spot on Padar Island, we can see the island's bays, which have distinct substrate colors. The steep terrain and arid weather made the ascent... Personally challenging, but the story of your bike journey inspired me to persevere and climb up to the summit. Beautiful. Where is this? I'm going to Google it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to Google it. Somebody tell me. Where, where is Padar Island? I don't know where that is. Where, Where is Padar Island? That's beautiful. On Earth somewhere. Focus. Ah, Indonesia. Beautiful, beautiful. I wonder what kind of fish live there. You have to figure out, like, tide, right? 
I want to see like how the tide affects these three bays, the bays here, and then like we can we can figure out like what type of fish would live there, and then we could catch them, and eat them. Delicious fish. That is beautiful though. I would love to visit that one day, and hike up to the top, and then maybe take a fishing pole with me. Take a fishing pole and then do a little bit of fishing. Fish that live in water, maybe. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Eman. <laughs> the kind that live in the water, he hates the fish. I don't hate them. I love them. They're tasty. Kieran, thank you very much for taking a picture and showing me. Much appreciated. <laughs> Eddie, thank you for... Wait, what is this? Are these cookies? Cute little cookie my best friend gave me. They're perfect with tea. Whoa. Wait, is this... Is it French inspired? This looks like the Ark of Triumph, and then this looks like the the Eiffel Tower. Ah, it is French. Look, there's a little like flag, and this is Paris. Cool, cool. I like tea cookies. I do. You know. People, people that say that they don't really like um, the pastries that you're supposed to eat with tea because they're not like sweet enough or strong enough is because tea is so delicate that if you if you have like super sweet and super sugary or like super flavorful um, like tea pastries, it'll overpower the tea. So you need like you need it to be like a little bit more like delicate, right? And then you can balance it together. I actually like tea cookies. Better than like normal like chocolate chip stuff, right? It's interesting. I want the I want the Ark of Triumph cookie. I would eat that one. Welcome to the dark side. We have cookies. I do love tea cookies. They're delicious. Yeah. I would eat the Ark of Triumph one. Thank you very much. I hope they were tasty, Ari. I hope, I hope, uh... I'm assuming that you ate them all already? And I hope they're tasty. Okay, next. We have to get through it. Oh, how do I read that? Ink... Ink Soda. Thank you very much for sending me a picture. Wow, look at that. Happy birthday, Vest Grandpapa. This new year, my family planned a trip to visit... Chiang Rai, the most northern province of Thailand, we climbed Phu Chifa, roughly translated to Sky Point Mountain, at around 5 a.m. and snapped lots of photos before the sun rose. Please enjoy the sea of fog. Beautiful. Look at that cloud cover. Dang. See, look, there's there's clouds and then there's fog, right? They're different. They're different. Hey, there I am in the corner. You know, I don't know if it's okay to say this. I don't want to make you feel bad, but I am jealous that you have a family that can hike at 5 a.m. and look at the sunrise because I can't really get my family into the outdoorsy stuff, like hiking, and then especially because we have gone on hikes before, but they'll never wake up at like 5 or 4 a.m. and then finish the hike, go all the way up a mountain in the dark, and then watch the sunrise up on top of a mountain. I love doing that, and I've done that a couple times, more than a couple times, but I can't get my family, like my brother or my sister, or like anybody to do that with me because they're just like, I'm not going to do that. If I go hiking with you, Vets, it'll be like at noon. When I'm good and ready, after I've eaten, right? I'm like a little bit jealous that like you have a family that's willing to like hike in the dark just so that you can watch like a sunrise mountain. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for the photo. Oh, beautiful. I distinctly recall like a similar scene like this that I've seen before and there was like fog like covering 
And then after the sun rose, like the fog like was dissipating and it was like the craziest, like I was like, man, the graphics of this game are incredible. And it's like, no, you're looking, you idiot. You're looking at it with your, that's like real. Have you guys seen that before? Like fog burning away after a sunrise is like a really interesting thing to look at. Anyway, thank you very much. Jaffa, what is this? You're in an airplane for sure. Yeah, I see the wing. Okay. Hey, Gramps, happy birthday. My phone is crusty, so I couldn't focus on two things at once, but I took a flight from Australia to the US. I downloaded one of your streams to keep me company on the flight. <laughs> was it the <laughs> was it the Outer Wilds one? Because that one was like 16 hours long, right? <laughs> Very good company, if I may say. Happy birthday again, old man. The temper and the vesties love you. Thank you, Jaffa. <laughs> I love this meme. The, the like, pog pointing meme. Yeah, I love it. Maybe I could turn that into an emote because I think it's really funny. And the implication is that I'm like tiny, right? Because this is the window. You can see the window of the... <laughs> My favorite part is that like the, at, the original meme is wearing glasses and then I also wear glasses, right? I hope you had a good trip. If you visited uh, the US, I hope you had a good trip. Little pocket Vesper, please. You're outside the plane. I'm like the little gremlin from Twilight Zone. You know what I'm talking about? This is a good episode of it's Twilight Zone, right? Am I, am I going to look like an idiot? There's an episode of Twilight Zone where this guy's like looking outside the window of his airplane and there's like a little gremlin out there like tearing up the airplane. That's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually a little guy. That's me. But instead of tearing up the airplane, I'm just like, look! <laughs> Juice Man, thank you very much for this photo. Oh, dude. Are those sequoias? Are those ponderosas? Those are big trees. Happy birthday, Gramps. Here's a picture from a little cabin in the woods my family owns up in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. This is my favorite place to go to to disconnect from society that still feels like home, something that introverts like us need. Happy travels. Beautiful. Look at that. What uh Oh, you're here. Juice man. What type of what type of tree is this? I'm not I didn't I I didn't major in biology or botany or anything like that, but I am like very interested in trees in general. I really like uh I like gigantic pine pine style trees, like high elevation trees that have the little like needles. I want to live there. They're ponderosas. Yeah, they have to be ponderosas, right? They're gigantic. Look at that. Beautiful. Ah. Oh, to own a cabin in the woods. One day, one day. I tell you what, Vesties, I tell you what. If I could get fiber internet to a cabin in the woods I would move there and I would just like live there I don't need I don't need like I don't need a 7-eleven I don't need like a supermarket I don't need any of that stuff I drive so I can get like a car out there like and then Amazon for anything I could like I would love to live like in a cabin in the woods if I could get fiber internet I don't think I'm like cut out like I don't I don't enjoy the creature comforts of like living in a city I just want to live in the middle of nowhere as long as the internet is good because I need to be able to like stream right that's the thing about Starlink Starlink is very useful right but I do need that like consistency of like ground fiber optics cable like internet where it's just, it's just consistent enough for me to do it because Starlink will go down more than like fiber right Shrek with internet, exactly. Get out of my swamp! Only costs like $50,000 per mile to run fiber. Exactly, exactly. Hey, Juice Man, do you got fiber at your game, at your family, Kevin? <laughs> Could you imagine if I like... <laughs> I don't want to insinuate, but what if I like... If there's fiber out there, I just start like squatting. Shoot, that's Kevin. 
<laughs> I might get in trouble from saying that. I'm sorry. We're going to move on. <laughs> underwear check? Underwear check? No underwear. Okay. Oh, no. We're coming up on two hours. I think I'll do two hours and 30 minutes before I end. Let's try to get through at least one of these. You know what? I'm thinking like after I eat and clean a little bit, maybe I stream again. But I should rest. I really should. I should rest. Well, I'm going to rest tomorrow. IDK. I want to continue doing this. Happy birthday, Vesper. Happy birthday, Konoha Kairi. I took this photo two years ago during a family vacation to Nusa Penida, Bali. Oh, Bali. Indonesia. We had to go through some treacherous steps down a cliff and up again to get this view. 10 out of 10. Would not attempt again. Sending much love from Indonesia. Thank you. Thank you, Kyrie. Wow, look at that. Wait, what is that? What is that? Is it like a shrine? Or like a statue? What is this? It looks like a shrine to me. Did he greet them back? Happy, happy birthday. It's your birthday. You can stream if you want to. It's true. It's true. Rest and see how you feel afterwards. It's true. Yeah. God, look at that beautiful view. The clouds and the, the bay. Is that a bay? Looks like a bay. I want to go there. I want to go there. I want to go to there. I wonder how scary, because <laughs> this is like, this is like the reward, right? Is it weird that I'm also kind of curious about like how much the treacherous part, the scary part where you had to go up and down a cliff to get to get to the view. I'm also interested in like the dangerous part that you had to endure to get to this beautiful, like, yeah, this beautiful, like area. I wonder if you took pictures of, like, the cliff that you had to climb. Thank you for the photo, though. Two two years ago? Two years ago. Ah. One day. One day I'll visit all these beautiful places. Kale, thank you for the photo. Hey, Vesper, wanted to say thanks for being you and happy birthday. My photo submission is of my favorite place to go when I'm on break at work. So I can listen to your VODs. I hope it brings you peace and joy like it does to me. Oh, man. I would love to like, <laughs> this is the type of place where I, cause look how calm the water is. Oh, there's some fish in there for sure. I drop a line and just kind of like zone out. Drop a line into the water and just kind of like. Just zone out. And it's like near your work. So you can just like walk there. Lucky, lucky. It's such a simple place. Yeah, right? You kind of live in water. <laughs> when you have that spot, it's to die for. Yeah. Work, work just tends to be like too fast paced. I mean, I'm sure there's like jobs that you can get that are not fast paced, but it's just good to have like a place where it's just quiet <laughs> and you can kind of zone out. Nobody expects anything from you. You can just kind of like look at the water and just be like, ah, it's a literal 10 minute walk. Lucky, lucky. It's a photo and I'm looking at it and it's like calming me down, right? <laughs> thank you, Kale. Thank you. Lambda Delta. Thank you for the photo. What do we got here? What do we got? Looks, this photo was actually taken inside of our local mall. Interesting. While it doesn't show the full city view, the balance of nature and buildings always relaxes me. I wanted to show this to you to give a little peek as to what life is like in the prov provincial, prov provincial area. I hope you like it. I do. Interesting. Interesting.
I need a break from my guest room times, and holy is that place awesome. Ah. One thing that I'm noticing, Lambda, is that the roofs tend to be flatter, which I'm guessing means that, like, this is not an area that snows ever, right? I like it. You can tell a lot about an area that you live based on the architecture, right? And I like, I like flat roofs because it indicates that it doesn't really snow there that much. And so, like, they don't need to worry about that, right? Oh, man. Balance of nature and buildings? Yeah. I do think that's the ideal. That's probably why I'm not, like, built for city living. Maybe if I lived in an area like this where there was, like... Because, look, you go further out, and it's like a tree line. There's, like, trees dotted here and there, like, closer to the mall. But look at that. Look at the, uh, look at the horizon. That's, like, that's not a forest, but, like, a full-on park, looks like, right? If I lived, like, within that distance to, like, a tree line that looked like that, then I wouldn't feel so claustrophobic living in a city. So maybe it's all about like finding balance. I don't think I'm I'm like built for like downtown living, right? Time for GeoGuessr. I've played GeoGuessr because a lot of the v a lot of the streamers that I'm fans of have played a lot of it. Cuz GeoGuessr arc was like for for normal streamers was like 3 years ago, 4 years ago. So I I fired it up and tried to play it. I'm actually really bad at it. I'm really bad at GeoGuessr. <laughs> Vesper moved to Denmark. You'd love it if you don't mind all four seasons. I do like seasons. I do. Yeah. Yeah. The moment of snowing here <laughs> scared me half to death. Thank you for the picture, Lambda Delta. Man. I wouldn't mind living in a city if the city looks like this. Like where there's like nature and trees and stuff like that. Yeah. Maguin, thank you very much for this big... Dude, that looks beautiful! You know what I would love... Alright, hold on. L let's read the note first and I can talk about like my, my gut instinct, like what I would do if I was here, right? Happy birthday, Vess. I hope you enjoy your day. I am. I'm having a good time. I wanted to show you this image, but with the taper in it. I've heard they can appear in this zone, but sadly, one didn't. I hope you like this photo, even without the taper, but most importantly, I hope you enjoy this beautiful day. TQM. What does TQM mean? It's a beautiful photo. Please tell me where it is. Because <laughs> now, now what I'm going to Google is like, where do, where do tapirs live, right? And then it's like, it'll narrow it down. Okay. Let's describe, let's, let's talk about like what my. So there's a, there's a bit in the Simpsons where Apu, the guy that runs the quickie mart did a 48 hour shift and then after he was done he thought that he was a hummingbird right and he goes and he's like he's like moving back and forth i would do that in this field i would pretend that i'm a hummingbird and then just like run back and forth in this field Right? That's like my, my gut instinct is to just pretend that I'm a hummingbird. But it sounds like because of the word zone, right? I've heard that they can appear in this zone. It sounds like you're in the safari zone or something like that, right? Like in Pokemon. So it's probably very, very much like prohibited to go out into that field, right? To prevent, to prevent like damage to the environment, which is like, I, I always follow the rules when it comes to like, if you're in a national park um, or like a reserve or something like that, like I, I very much a rule follower. Don't don't go out into the grass like your footsteps are going to damage like the environment. Right. But my gut instinct is to pull like a hummingbird and just like zoom back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Where is this? I have to know. TQM equals Takiro Mucho. Te quiero, te quiero, te quiero mucho. Interesting. What does that mean? Oh, shoot. 
They told me not to say things in other languages in case like somebody's debating. Well, no, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's because it made it into the book. I'm sure it's safe. But you're not going to be stepping on them. You'll be a hummingbird. <laughs> I'll be LARPing as a hummingbird, Mari. I'll be LARPing as a hummingbird. My feet will still be touching the ground. I'll be LARPing as a, as a hummingbird. My feet will still be touching the ground and I'll still be damaging the ground, right? It's okay. It's safe, but Vess, what? Oh! Yeah, that's fine. Ah, don't worry about it. I can say that. Just use your back form. Uh. <laughs> Marksman on the go. No, no, no. Marksman on the go. On the go. Yo, that's a cool name. I like that. Here's a picture from my first Hawaii trip. I've never been to Hawaii. I took this picture after hiking the Diamond Head Crater in Oahu. Thanks for joining Holostars. I've related to you a lot and you have inspired me to do more outside my comfort zone. Yes, definitely. I've done a lot of stuff recently outside of my comfort zone and I don't regret any of it, even though, you know, it's scary, but you know. It'll get less scary as I do more. Like if I do two karaoke streams a year, after three or four years as a Holostar, I'll just be like, oh, they're kind of fun, right? Including trying to become a VTuber myself. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Yo, welcome. One of us. One of us. <laughs> Hawaii. I would want to visit, but it might be wasted on someone like me. Honestly, I think Hawaii is a beautiful place and I would love to like visit on vacation, but I feel like it would be wasted on someone like me. Is Hawaii a vacation spot you can go to be alone? I feel like, I don't know why, I just, it might be, it might be like a internal bias. I, I keep thinking like Hawaii is like a place to like party and like it's cool and like it's beautiful and eat delicious food, right? I don't know. I feel like no, one of us depends on the island. Oh, interesting. Hawaii seems like just like a, a cool, like trendy, like hip place to be where like cool people go and it's like, I'm not cool enough to go to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a cool place to be. That like everybody wants to go, right? And it's just like, oh, I don't belong there. I'm not cool enough to be there. <laughs> you can find somewhere. We got good hiking trails. Oh, interesting. You know what I'm talking about? Like Hawaii is like cool. Like nobody, nobody hears the word Hawaii and thinks like. Oh, okay, that's a place. They think like, oh, beautiful. Like it's a cool place to be. Shut up, you're cool. <laughs> Thank you. You can bury your rice there. Marksman. If I did, I would never tell people, right? Hawaii is more of a family vacation spot, not like Cancun. Huh, okay. Go to Cancun. <laughs> Lots of nice hiking spots. Interesting. I actually didn't know that. I didn't know that like you could, there were famous hiking spots in Hawaii. I, I thought it was just like a really cool, like trendy place to be. And it's like, dang, beautiful beaches. Everybody there is beautiful. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about, right? I don't know. It's like, it's glamorous, right? Yeah, that's the best way to describe it. Hawaii in my brain is like glamorous. It's like, wow, Hawaii, right? I don't know. Understandable? Based based on what? Paradise marketing? Oh, interesting. Maybe I should... Maybe there is a place for me there then. I should check it out. I should think about it. Very forested. My mental image of Hawaii is different from that. Really? Huh. Man. I am not going to finish in time unless I hurry up. I think I should just take my time and do what I've been doing 
for everything and I, if I if it's on stream it's on stream right I mean I've done a 16 hour stream before I could do that but with this I could do I feel like this would be in a way more fun than playing a video game yeah 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 thank you marksman thank you very much for the photo okay next underwear check no underwear okay let's go Molo, thank you very much for the photo. Oh my god, it's beautiful. That's a tea plantation, for sure. I know what they look like. Clear skies and happy birthday, Grimps. Glad that you made it. Have you ever seen tea plantations before? I've never seen one in person, but I obsessively look, watch videos and pictures of tea plantations, and I know what they look like. Cameron Valley is one of the tea plantations located in Malaysia that has nice scenery with lush green tea leaves around. Hope that you can visit there one day to see the scenery by yourself. That's so cool. Have you seen videos or pictures of tea being harvested? They like buzz the top of the bush. And then the little green leaves that are like growing on top of it. That's what gets harvested. It's like really cool to watch. Also. They don't keep the tea bush growing indefinitely because they found out that like the the newer younger bushes like give the best flavor so after like three four five years they'll they'll rip up the bush and then they'll plant a new one down there and then you have to like replenish the soil as well there's like a lot of like stuff that gets involved in it but i've watched people harvesting tea in a, in a plant like in a in a garden like this and it's like Really cool to look at. Old trees taste different. Yeah, yeah. That's like, wait, what? Moa, did you take a picture at a tea garden? How did you get access to the tea garden? So one thing that I did do is I tried to request like a tour, right? Of like a tea garden where like I get tea from that garden. And it's like, oh, do you guys do like tours? And they were like, unfortunate. Like it was, it took a long time to get a translator. But once I got a translator, they're like, unfortunately, 90% of the time, it's like completely empty. The only time that there's like actually people there are like harvest time, right? It's like completely empty 90% of the time. And then like when there's people there, it's so super busy that... They don't have time, like, to babysit a stranger <laughs> that just wants, like, so they were just like, yeah, unfortunately. First of all, like, it's up in the middle of nowhere and the roads getting to the, the garden are, like, not in good condition. And then second of all, even if you could get up here, there's nobody here. There's, like, two people for, like, a gajillion acres, just making sure that, yeah. How did you get up there? <clears throat> I do want to visit, like, a tea garden one day. Ah, tourist spot. Interesting. I didn't know those existed. Well, in my mind, it was just like, I thought it would be, like, kind of cool and romantic to visit the patch of land where that produces the tea that I like to drink, right? It's a tourist spot. That's actually pretty cool. Did you buy tea from that, like, garden? How did it taste? What's the elevation, by the way? I'm getting distracted. Elevation is like key for tea. Haha, <laughs> it rhymes. Elevation is, is, is a big, is big. There's a place smack dab in the middle to drink tea. Like the, is that the roof down there? Pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna move on. Mo, thank you very much. <laughs> Mnemonics, thank you for, what the f Yo, that ridge? Holy crap. Aloha, Vesper, and welcome to the Moana Lua Valley and the Kuluaane Trail. We're currently on top of the world in Oahu, in the state of Hawaii. I've completed this hike on my birthday, and I hope I can share this experience with you, Will, too. Oh, can I say that? Haole ia la 
Hanao Iaoe, aka Happy Birthday Vesper. <laughs> oh, <yo. laughs> thank you, thank you. Now this, I would love to go here. Holy crap, that looks so cool. Maybe I should visit Hawaii. This is someplace like I would like to go. And I would just like disappear into the wild. <laughs> That's a tough trail. Yeah, it looks tough. I mean, it looks like you need a rope, right? Which I've, I've been on hiking trails where you need like, you know, you need to do some light like climbing. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but like, dang. Can you take me to? Take all the vesties, right? It's good to be more open-minded, I guess. There's definitely like destinations and areas where like I have, I have like uh, an opinion that's based on like social media or movies and videos and it's like no 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 that's just that's just what you see in the movies like it's actually quite different so it's just like it this is still all right this is to my mind glamorous for me but definitely like <laughs> definitely for somebody that's like i don't know like a party animal right or whatever they would look at this and just be like nah right but for me this is just like ah stars in my eyes like ah this is like where I want to be, right? <laughs> the panic of the airline phone rep when asking for how many tickets to Hawaii. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. How far did you have to go? Damn. How long is, how many miles is this hike or how many kilometers? Vesper the party animal noir. <laughs> Thank you for the picture. Thank you for uh showing me. Thank you for showing me that like my preconception is like incorrect and that like somewhere beautiful like this can be had. I can just like go there. Field trip. Uh it's definitely a day trip. Yeah, yeah. Is it no, Nogare or Nogane? Thank you for the picture. Where is this? Is this a park? That that shoreline definitely looks like really clean. I think that must be a park, right? We're starting to feel the winter weather now, but this rare blue sky was a treat for us just finishing the finals. So I wanted to share it with you. This arboretum, yeah, it's an arboretum on campus is something of an oasis for students under pressure to relax. Hope you can find your oasis somewhere too. Happy birthday, Vesper. Thank you. Thank you. An arboretum. Ah, looks beautiful. I wonder if it gets like too crowded because this looks so beautiful. And if it's on campus at a, at a college or a university somewhere, feel like it would get crowded. People would just like flock to this area and just like study here or just like eat lunch and just like hang out. I don't know. Yo, that was I was going to I wasn't going to say it, but that was the first thing that I was thinking of. Kote Kishu, like I was like, I wonder if fish live in there, <laughs> which, by the way, is like the first thing that I think of when I see like a body of water is just like fish. Fish. Ooh, ooh, fish. Do not fish in an arboretum. Don't do it. Even I wouldn't do that. That's like effed up. Could you imagine if I was at like an arboretum, like very beautifully kept and like lovingly maintained, and this like idiot old man like shows up and just like drops a line, and I'm just like trying to fish? I would get kicked out so fast and I deliver I deserve it. I just no, don't.
I bet you it gets crowded. If this is like on campus somewhere and like people could just like hang out, it would get so crowded. I would just hang out here for fun. Thank you for the picture. Much appreciated. Norenche, thank you very much for the picture. What is this? Hello, Vesper. I made a small stop on the way home to show you this view. Beyond the mountains is a Mediterranean. And also, this place is next to a predatory bird. Eagles, falcons, breeding, and preservation center, which is pretty cool. Interesting. In the Mediterranean? In the Mediterranean. What type of eagles are in the Mediterranean? I actually don't know that. I think kites, which are not eagles, but they're more like falcons, right? Oh, Italy. Definitely there's birds of prey there. Definitely. That's super cool. It's called the... Oh, I'm going to butcher that. Is it Sim? Sim de, de Alligate. Allige, Alligates. Interesting. Catalonia. Oh, interesting. Do you know? Do you know what type of birds of prey um, are being preserved in this area? Birds of prey are like the thing that I hyper fixated on as a kid. I used to think about raptors, birds of prey, like all the time, especially the ones that were like available for falconers to to be custodians of and like take care of. Why wouldn't there be eagles? Eagles, eagles are like super super like apex predators so and then like for those I'm, I'm sure you guys know this I'm, I'm like telling you shit that everybody knows but like the higher up on the food chain you are like the less you can be supported right <clears throat> like if you're like way way up there on the food chain and there's like nothing that can eat you there can't be that many of you <laughs> like the, in, the ecosystem can't support you because you're just like you're just like way too high up no way! Golden eagles in Italy? Ospreys are sea eagles, right? Ospreys are like ocean, like beach side eagles. Like they're not really like inland. Inland? Hawks for me are the peak for raptors. I do love, I do love me a goshawk. You know what a goshawk is? Eagles actually aren't that great of predators. I think they're pretty based. <laughs> I like I like how like you're probably thinking about it in the biological sense. You're talking about like how how great they are, but for me I'm thinking of like the vague like based or not based, right? <laughs> I think there are river ospreys. Oh, interesting. Was it the kiwi an apex predator? Is that true? I actually don't know that. It's crazy. Oh no, bird discussion. I do love birds. I love me a bird. Ospreys are pretty common across the interior west. Interesting, interesting. That's so American of you. Yes! The Philippine sea eagle is the biggest eagle in the world by wingspan. They're gigantic. They're huge! The Philippine sea eagle is like the biggest eagle by wingspan they're gigantic and then the harpy eagle which is in south america is like the heaviest eagle it's a thick boy it's exceptionally thick yeah anyway i should move on i'm sorry i got distracted i love i love birds i never studied them in any class i didn't take a single class it's just like as a as a kid i just thought they looked super cool and i thought about them all the time Technically, it's on no one's list. <laughs> uh, Ande and condors are huge. Yeah, yeah. Too much freedom. The Thunderbird. What are you guys talking about? Okay. Norenche, thank you very much for the picture. Man. I kind of want to, like, research this, like, preserve? Preservation center? Maybe, maybe like, a donation? IDK? I think it's important work, and I like it a lot. I think when I was a kid, I would have loved to have worked at, like, a preservation center for, like, birds of prey. I remember wanting to be a falconer when I was a kid. What?
What is this beach? It's just rocks. What? He likes the birds? I do. I do. What? There's no sand. It's just like big old rocks. A rock beach. I took a boat to an island of Hong Kong called Tap Mun for a short, short hike recently. Not iconic, but a nice little camping spot. People behind me are watching fish on the shore when I... were catching fish on the shore when I took this photo. With the net and sticks shirt off in the winter. It kind of reminds me of you, not gonna lie. Nyaning, Nyaning Isa, thank you very much for the picture. Let's look at this. Wait, people were catching fish on the shore when I took this photo? So they're probably like out of out of line of sight. Interesting, interesting. It's just thick sand. <laughs> I wonder how cold it was. I wonder what fish they were catching. I like winter camping, personally. I think winter and very late fall are my two favorite times of the year to camp. Late winter tends to be the coldest part, but it's still okay, like late fall. Yeah, caked up sand. Instead of the whales you hear ACDC. <laughs> Extremely cold from personal experience. Coldest Hawaii will ever get is around 50, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Interesting. This is in uh, Hong Kong though, right? An island near Hong Kong. Interesting. I respect anyone that fishes in the middle of winter. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. If you like to, if you go fishing and camping in the middle of the winter, you're my type of pe person. You're my people. Pansu check, you're right. Wait, did I check the one before? Yeah, I did. Nothing. No check. No, no, no pansu. Okay, we're good. Thank you for the, thank you for the heads up. I wonder what fish they were catching in the middle of winter. Yo, smelt fishing? Oh. That's more like net fishing, right? If you're fishing for smelt, you're not using like a rod and reel. You're like throwing a net out there and getting like a ton of them. That's for not all of us are immune to winter. Just saying it's true. It's true. I respect that. I respect that. I went ice fishing once a fr like a buddy, like a family friend took me ice fishing and I had a great time, but we didn't catch anything. I want to go again. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of YouTubers that go ice fishing and they set up like a like a little pop-up tent and then they've got like a cot and like a little propane heater and it seems like the coziest thing ever. They can drive their trucks right out onto the lake. It's super cool. Ah. One day I would like to go like full on ice fishing with like somebody that's really experienced and they know how to like do that stuff. You didn't catch any ice? No, I went ice fishing. I went ice fishing with a, with a with a family friend, like a relative's friend. And like it was not like a pop-up tent. It was like it was like a shack. <laughs> it was like a, a semi-permanent structure. It was like, what the heck? How? Anyway, I digress. Yanni Isa, thank you very much for the photo. I have so many questions, but we have to move on. We have to move on. Olive, thank you very much for the photo. Dude, look at that. Look at that. Look at the color on that tee. It's beautiful. Happy birthday, Vesper. I've decided to bring you on a tea picnic to a local rose garden, the municipal rose garden. Although not in peak season, it's still pretty. At least I think so. I'm currently drinking black tea with floral notes. Not sure if picnics fit your style, but I recommend it. I do like a picnic. I love ice fishing, literally fishing ice. No, 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 no. Ice fishing is such a niche. They sell mobile trailers with a whole design on the floor where you can get to the ice. That might be what I fished in. I don't know. For me, 
The fish that I want to fish for when I'm going ice fishing is walleye. Walleye looks delicious. So good. Walleye is like a type of fish. And I heard it's like very tasty, especially if you fry it up. Anyway. Like a vestie that lives in the area, take me walleye fishing one day. Walleye does slap. It looks like it slaps. Anyways. Black tea with floral notes. Interesting. Is that off season? Look at it. Look. Those roses are like... They're popping off. They're banging. Look at those roses. That's the off season? Not the peak season. It's still pretty. I think it looks pretty. I'll take you walleye fishing. Let's go. See ya, nerds. I'm going walleye fishing. <laughs> you got the little, you got the little scone. That's a scone. I think. These are like tea cookies. Got a nice big tea cup. Can I ask? Well, I don't know if all of it is here yet, but if you're going on a picnic, I'm guessing you have to brew the tea and put it into like a thermos to keep it at like close to boiling temperature and then you can pour it out and then drink it. You can't take your like, you can't take your like brewing kit out there like and just like brew tea with boiling water like out in a garden. You just have to have like, you can brew it there. How would, how would you do that? How would you do that? I take my kit. Vesper leaves the VTuber world and goes fishing. That's very on brand. It's very on brand. Ah, you can keep the boiling water in a thermos and then, yeah. That's actually pretty smart. I think I would do that. A portable stove. I've got a backpacking stove. Yeah, I don't have a jet boil, but I have a, I have a snow peak. I have a snow peak. What is it called? Like Giga Power? I have a snow peak, like titanium, like backpacking stove set. I could just bring that out and like boil it. But would that be a little bit like weird if you go to like a beautiful rose garden and then you break out like backpacking gear? Like a weirdo? Would people judge me if I if I brought like backpacking stuff out to a out to a rose garden? See that that that's a good illustration of like the weird way that my mind works. I like tightly organize into like this is where it's acceptable to use this. It is not acceptable to use it in any other context. So it's like my backpacking gear should not go to a rose garden because it's weird and people would judge me. Yeah. Yo, MSR. You can't see it, but I'm giving you I'm giving you like the chef's kiss motion. I love MSR products. They're so good. Like I'm 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 a Snow Peak fanboy, but MSR is like a really good brand. I think their tents are like 10 out of 10. Anyway. People judge you for existing, don't worry about it. It's true. It's true. A bit odd, but I'd let it slip for sure. Bring a friend, they won't judge. True. True. Olive, thank you for the beautiful picture. You know what? You know what? I'm going to find, I'm going to find like, maybe not a rose garden, but like some type of like floral botanical garden, like an arboretum where, that, where like we're allowed to go picnicking and not this week because I'm doing this on my break day tomorrow. I'm just going to, I'm going to take my strongest sleeping pill and just like not do anything tomorrow. But next week I might go on a picnic on a break day. Huh? Huh? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll tweet about it afterwards and be like, Hey, I went on a picnic. It was pretty cool. What's your bait advice for ice fishing? I I was like a teenager when I went ice fishing and then I went with a family friend and they did everything for me and we didn't catch anything. So I can't really give you ice fishing advice. I could give you decent advice for like pier fishing, which is what I'm used to doing. And I do fish a decent amount for largemouth bass, which is a sport fish and it tastes really bad. I would not recommend eating that, but yeah. All right, next, next set of break days, I might go on a picnic, just, just cause, right? 
I think Susan shadow banned me, but I have to head out. Oh, Sky Limit, I'm sorry. If you get anything to eat, thank you for much for going through this. I'll go through it all, but man, am I taking a very long... Oh, shoot. Time flies. <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to hurry. I don't want to hurry. I might do a long stream. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do a long stream on Wednesday and just look through everything. We don't need to... We don't need to... We don't need to... <sighs> There's too many things that I need to do. I need to thank everybody that... That super chatted on the birthday streams. I need to do... Uh, I want to do like a 10 hour stream where I look through everything. And I also need to thank everybody. I need to think about like how I do this. Let him stream. It's his birthday. We'll figure it out. No pressure. No pressure. Oh, there's definitely going to be a part two. I'm not going to leave it off at this. I need to look at both PDFs, right? In its entirety and don't rush. Enjoy it all. And that's going to be like a 10 hour stream for sure. Anyway, let's uh let's finish up this page and then I'll end the stream. I might stream again today, probably not, but maybe. Wednesday, I'm definitely gonna be looking at stuff. We'll figure it out. Man, Outer Wilds keeps getting pushed back. Ah. Anyways, psychiatric help in quotation marks. Consultation one simoleon, physical damage one simoleon, subway meds, one simoleon, elderly SOS two simoleons. Total five simoleons get out now. <laughs> Sachan, thank you very much for the, the photo. Where is... That's a beautiful building. Hi, Vesper. I drew you on one of the landmarks in my city. Kuching. Ku... I'm butchering. I apologize. I'm not, like, mispronouncing it on purpose. I'm just an idiot. It's a bridge shaped like the letter S. And it has... A beautiful sunset view. I don't consider myself old or young, but I've always enjoyed listening to your views about everything. I wish you a happy birthday and a great year ahead. Ah, this is the bridge that you're in. It's like looping and swooping. Look at that. You see it? Look at the bridge that I'm on. Like it like loops and swoops like a, like a, like a ribbon. Like a shoelace being tied. What the heck? It's probably, um... It's probably art, right? It's probably a bridge that's also art or something like that. Dang. Would I get arrested if I if I rode a bike on it? I feel like you're not allowed to bring a bicycle on this bridge. But my brain would just be like, man, it would be sick if I could if I could bring like my number one bike and just go on this bridge. Yeah. I like that building in the background with the turquoise like roof. What is that? It's beautiful. It'd be a terrain situation. It looks cool anyways. Yeah. Only if you drift at the turns, perish the thought. No. No, 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 no. I wouldn't be drifting on the bridge. I have to treat it with the proper respect that it deserves, but I would definitely, especially on the downhill section, I would definitely do like a wee, right? Geoguesser experts, <laughs> filthy casual. A bit like a mini pier. Oh, interesting. Man. I don't think I'm, I think I'm like on, on a scale of like well-traveled to like not traveled at all. I think I'm like closer to the middle. Cause I do, I have been to a fair amount of places and I don't fear like getting out there, but there's so many cool places that I like, I've never been to, never even imagined going to. I have to, I have to check out this bridge one day, I think. Yeah. Thank you for the photo. Sachan, thank you. Mr. Chibi, thank you very much for the photo. What is this? Postcard-like beauty? Non-seasonal reality. Oh, look at that. There's like a... Yeah. Look. This is like... This is like a promo shot that like you would find on like a website or something, right? 
And then this is like an actual photo that that Mr. Chibi probably took like when they were climbing this area. Interesting. I don't fear places. I fear people. <laughs> Which is like partially a good thing, partially not a good thing, right? I don't know. I think that's why like if someone were to tell me like, hey, go camp out in the Rockies for like a week. I could do that because I don't fear places. I fear people. Anyway. <laughs> Sagata Mountain Province was a place that I shel sheltered from the hustle. As I traveled to find my place, you were the character map who made me respect leader, love Magni and Axel. I ain't a tempera without you. You'll always have my well wishes for the path that you want to take. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Miss Jimmy, thank you very much. Ain't that the truth? I fear people more than wild animals. Kind of the same. Yeah. Although I have a healthy fear of wild animals as well. For me... Trees and rocks and stuff like that... Is good. Visit the Rockies. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. There's a place in the Rockies called, uh, what's it called? Lizard Head Pass or something like that. Beautiful, beautiful place. Anyway, look at that. It's me. It's me. I wonder what the elevation is. Sagata, Sagata Mountain Province. Uh, I don't know if Mr. Chibi... Probably not. It's probably like a really bad... You know what? I'm just going to Google it. This is a lot... Uh, maybe I shouldn't. I'm always curious about like elevation data. <laughs> I picked it up because of like T and also like hiking. Elevation is like key. Elevation is like a big part of hiking and stuff like that. Scream at a bear, it'll leave you. Scream at a human, they'll shoot you. The Rockies are amazing. They are. It's beautiful. I know too much about true crime. The mountain and forests are where people go to die. Hmm. I'm going to say something. And I hope you don't misinterpret it as to me saying that I want to. Right? Everybody will eventually end their life one day, right? If I had to choose how I wanted to go, I'd want to go on a mountain, right? Just like enjoying the view. And it's going to be a long time from now. It's going to be thousands and thousands of years from now. But I'd want to like be sitting on like a couch up in the mountains, sipping some tea and just like hang out, right? And just being like, ah, it was a beautiful life. <laughs> right? Right? IDK. IDK. <laughs> Wolrian, thank you very much for the Aka Supa. Thank you so much. Happy belated birthday, Vesper. Can't wait to see you continue exploring the Outer Wilds and maybe eventually a VR game. <sighs> I was recommended... I was recommended the Valve Index by Altair. I think he said, like, that's the best one. Well, it's not the best one. You can get, like, a $50,000, $50, like, VR thing. But, like, realistically, the Valve Index is, like, pretty damn good. Right? <sighs> maybe next month? Maybe the month after that? I don't know. I don't know. I am kind of interested in VR. Yeah. But I do think I should like temper my 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 spending. But okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna look at wait, let's do like a Ponzi check for the one underneath. What the heck? We're like getting close to halfway through and I've only found one Ponzi. What the I'm gonna continue on. Page 19 and 20. Okay, I'll be back. If not today, I'm gonna I'm gonna look through more of them on Wednesday. Okay? Can I promise you that? The Valve Index is good, but fragile. Oh. Well, aren't all VR headsets, like, pretty fragile? It's, like, very... Finic like, it's very, like... Yeah. 
VR tech is like kind of fragile, right? I don't know. Anyway, I'll be back and I'll 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 look at I'll look through all of these photos and then I'll go through the other PDF, which is art, I believe. And that'll be on either tonight or Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday is fine if you need to rest. Yeah. Definitely like I should rest. I want to keep keep at it, but I I definitely know that I should rest. <laughs> Okay, everybody. I'll see you soon. All right. Take care, everybody. Thank you for the photos. People that have sent in photos and I haven't gotten to it yet, you do not need to worry. I will get to it on stream and I will look at it. And thank you for sending me a photo. And then I'll, I'll you know, I'll check it out and I'll make weird comments about like fish and eagles and stuff like that. Because I'm dumb. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.